I just finished up a website for a client and I placed a pretty cool animation on one of the sections, which I like to call an infinite loop text. And in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create something like this on Webflow. What's going on everyone? My name is RR Abrat and welcome back to Webflow Wednesdays. And today we're going to get right into the tutorial of what I like to call the infinite loop text. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our handy dandy Webflow designer. And let's go ahead and add our stuff first. Let's go ahead and add our elements and then we'll teach you the animation. It's so easy. I was so surprised how easy it was. So we'll go ahead and add our elements. Let's first of all add a section. That's just me. I like to add a section right away. We'll no go ahead and name this section section. All right. And then we'll go ahead and add some stuff inside this section. And these are really key. So first of all, we're going to add a div block inside this section. And we're going to name this loop text outer. Now we're going to have two containers. Okay. A loop text outer. And then we're going to add another div block inside this container, which we're going to call loop text inner. And real quick, I want to put uh, padding on the section just so it looks a little bit decent. Now you may say, why do we need these two divs? Well, it's really simple. The loop text outer is the container that's going to be shown in your computer screen. And then the loop text inner is the container inside that box that's going to be moving left to right. So think about if you were to have the screen, but then a box is going this way and that box inside that box is going to be your text. Okay. So let's go ahead and add some text into this first and we'll get right to the animation. It's going to be so easy. So go ahead and press the plus button and then we'll do a heading inside here. I'm going to call this heading H1. That's where my coding comes in. Um, just kind of used to that. And let's put some depth. Uh, let's make it a little better. Let's put Montserrat bold a little bigger. Let's make it 60 and a 60 height. Well, a little taller. There you go. Now we're going to add some text here. Um, I'm going to put. I'm a Laker fan. We're in the finals right now, by the way, three, one, we just won tonight. So you may say, you may see that I'm so happy because we literally just won tonight and we're up three, one against the heat. And the theme of the Lakers right now is called leave a legacy. So we're going to have this text here and what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this text multiple times. And before we do that, I want you to get this. This is super key. This is important. Because if you don't do this, you're going to mess this up. You're going to be wondering, like, how come I'm getting this wrong? Go to the uh, style tools. Go all the way down where it says the text section. And I want you to go over to where it says breaking. Okay. Go to breaking. And I want you to go ahead and select that and put no wrap. No wrap meaning it's not going to follow the rules inside the body. And, you know, right now with text, which is what we want a lot of times with websites, if uh, uh, the screen size or the browser size were to, uh, to become thinner, the text automatically moves on to the bottom, right? That's breaking. Um, but we're not going to allow breaking because we want the text to bleed out to uh, outside of the, um, the container. So let's go ahead and copy this and duplicate it multiple times. Oops. One thing that we forgot to do, I forgot to mention that. Go ahead and click the loop text inner, and we're going to make this into a flex box. Let's make it centered so that um, when we add different elements, they're all right next to each other. All right. So go ahead and add our elements there, and we'll do one more for good measure. Now, so as you notice, the other texts are outside. Right. That's what we want. That's what we want. So go ahead and go to loop text inner. Well, let's add some uh, margins to the right. Let's add maybe 20 pixels to the right. It's a little more spaced out, right? And this one's important as well. Now, when we get to loop text outer, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the width is 100%. So go to width, click 100%. And then you want to make sure you do this on overflow. 
you put none, okay? Because if we were to show the overflow, then if you had a browser there, you'd be able to scroll to the right and see the rest of the stuff bleeding out, which you don't want. So you want to put overflow none. And so now we have our elements ready. And really there's only one small step is we want to go ahead and put the section, is we want to go ahead and put the animation, okay? You're going to be amazed by how easy this is. So once we do that, go ahead and click the container loop text inner because this is the one that we're going to animate. This is the one that's going to move inside the loop text outer. Go ahead and go this, go to our animation tools and go to page trigger, get the plus button and go to page load. Okay. Cause we want it to move automatically. Now you have different ways you can do it. You can make it where it's moving as you scroll. But this one we're going to make it move automatically. So when go to action on when page starts loading, select that and click start an animation. Now, as you can see, I had it ready, but we're going to start over so that you get it step by step. All right. So we're going to press the plus button and we're going to call this loop animation. Now with the loop text inner container selected, go ahead and click the plus button. And we're going to click move. Okay. Now, let me move myself out of the way so you can see the screen here. And what we're going to do on loop text in there, as we have that, we're going to set that as the initial state. And on this part right here, we're going to put zero VW, meaning zero viewport. The default state is the state it's in right now. And then we're going to add one more. Click that one again press move and this is going to be our animation so this is very important you want to make sure the duration is zero now the reason for that is this if you have a duration what happens is this when the animation is done it's going to go it's going to animate going back like this so it's almost like a typewriter where it's like it's like scrolling this way and then it goes back and it goes like that which you don't want you want to put a uh, you want to make it put the illusion that it's infinitely scrolling. Okay. So we want to make the duration zero. We want to make the loop automatic. Um, that'll happen right away. And then on the move part, the, what you're going to do is, um, on this one, you're going to just move it to the second. Okay. You're going to move it to the second word where it seems like it's still it's, it seems as if um, it hasn't changed the look. That's why we added more stuff on the right side here, the leave a legacy, so that when we move it, it's it creates the illusion that it hasn't moved, okay? So we're just gonna move it to the left until we get the right spacing. And I think, well, we, we wanna do VW, not pic, uh, pixels. So we wanna make it say 30 VW, okay? Now that we have it on VW, we're able to move better. There we go. So it starts out at zero VW, which looks like that. So we want to move it to the left where it looks a little bit similar. Perfect. There we go. So zero, 25. And I know it's a little bit different, but it's fine. You used to have the illusion there. If you want to be exact, you can do like 25 point whatever, okay? Actually, on the duration here, I made a mistake. I apologize. On the duration, go ahead and click that. And let's put uh, 10 seconds. So this is going to be how long the scrolling will be. How long it takes to go from here to here. Okay? Now, we're going to add one more. Now, this is when it goes back to the default position. Go there and go to the move. And we'll go once again, put 0 VW. So we have 0 25, negative 25, and then zero. Now, this is the part where I said you need to make the duration zero because this is the animation that, the first part is the animation that shows you, it shows it moving. But the last part is the animation where when it's done, it goes reverts back to the beginning. So we're gonna make the duration zero. Go ahead and press save. So make sure you do that, put the duration zero. And then go ahead and click the loop because we want it to keep playing over and over again. Now we're going to preview this. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it works. There we go. Count to 10.
and bam, did you see that? The animation actually finished and repeated, but you didn't notice it on the website itself, which now creates the infinite looping illusion, looping text, whatever you want to call it. I hope that tutorial was a help to you. And let me know if you put that on your next website. Well, thank you so much for watching that tutorial. If you're new to our channel, my name is RR Abrat, and I'm the founder and creative director at Abar Creative, and we create websites for mission-driven organizations, and we specifically use a tool called Webflow. And I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, would you do me a favor and click that like button? That helps us bump up the video in the YouTube algorithm and make and helps people to be able to find it. And then also consider subscribing. Every Wednesday, we come out with Webflow tutorials. And also, we come out with tips as far as how to be a web designer. We come out with videos about getting clients, how you can um, get website jobs, and grow your freelance web design business. Well, until next time, guys, I hope to see you. And I hope to remember that you remember to always keep learning. Peace.